Hello my darlings and welcome. In this video I create handmade llamas jewelry to celebrate Lunasa. Let's do some magical crafting. Lamas is an early harvest festival celebrated in early August. Also known as Lunasa, it's a fire festival and a cross quarter day. Much of Lamas is about celebrating the grain harvest, so I decided to make this jewelry in golden harvest colors with wheat beads. A limited number of these pieces will be available on my Etsy store, and I'll leave a link to the shop below. To start with, I'm going to make a pair of harvest earrings. Starting with a deep gold faceted glass bead on an eye pin, I add a silver tone bead and a tiny silver end cap bead and close it off with another eye loop. Next, I am working with a silver tone wheat bead to create a dangle for the earring. I place the bead on a head pin and finish it off with an eye loop. To complete the earring, I connect the dangle portion to the golden bead using both eye hoops. And then add a silver plated ear wire to complete it. Here is the finished earring. And here is the set. I love the way they came out. I feel like they really celebrate the harvest. Next, I'm going to work on the individual elements that will come together to become the Lamas necklace. First, I create two golden bead links by putting a medium-sized bead on an eye pen and closing off the other side with an eye loop. Second, I did the same process with two tiny golden beads. They are so small and cute. Third, I'm making a link with another wheat bead. Using the same process, I slide the bead on an eye pin that I created from 22 gauge wire. Then I close off the other side with another loop. I create three of these wheat bead links. So my final elements for the Lamas necklace are two medium beads, two small beads, and three wheat beads. The next step is to link these beads to create the front portion of the necklace. I linked the three wheat beads with the medium gold beads in between, and then linked the small gold beads on either end. This creates a four inch wide focal point. So in order to create an 18 inch necklace, I need to cut two seven inch pieces of chain to complete the necklace. I attach the chain to either side of the central focus group. To complete the necklace, I need to add a loop on one side with a jump ring and a clasp on the other side. Each time I work on a side, I make sure that the loop and clasp are securely attached by tugging gently on the chain. And here is the completed set of jewelry. I love the way the necklace came out and I think the pieces really complement each other. I'll be listing both the earrings and the necklace separately on my Etsy shop. 
If you're interested, I'll leave a link below. I hope this video gives you some ideas for some DIY jewelry to celebrate the early harvest season, and I hope you have a blessed Lamas.